What is up, Cranics? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles if I got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos to about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Bravado Yuga, the OG Yuga before all the crazy different variants we've gotten over the years. But anyways, this van is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It can be purchased from a Summer San Andreas website for about $16,000, or of course you can get it off the street for free. And this van actually does have a good bit of visual customization, which is very surprising for such a normal looking random OG vehicle from the street. Now in terms of performance, the Yuga is in the Vance class and is above average on the class, being around the pace of the Rumpo and the Paradise. But obviously it's nowhere near the top vans in the class like the Rumpo Custom or the Gang Burrito. But either way, the vans class is barely raced anyways, and some of these vans are worth owning sometimes because of the customization alone, and the Yuga is a great example of that. But anyways, in terms of what the Yuga is based on, it's primarily based on the third generation Dodge Ram van, mixed with the second generation of it as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Yuga. Alright, Yuga. The original Yuga. So many different variants we've gotten over the years. Alright. Armor, bodywork. So you have... Oh, roof extension. Okay. And then you have the panel van conversion. So it makes it look more like a, I guess, a worker's van in a way because it has less windows and stuff okay let me see how it looks from the inside boom okay and the roof extension doesn't actually give you any extra headroom inside it's just <laughs> in real life that's what it's supposed to do give you more room inside so you can you know it's easier to move around inside the van and stuff but yeah it's just for looks I guess <laughs> uh, but the panels you can see in the interior they do cover the windows and stuff so that's pretty cool I guess we'll do that Brakes, bumpers, front splitter on a van. That's that's pretty cool. <laughs> then you got the tow hook. Okay. Then you have the oil cooler. Interesting. Uh, no painted uh, bumper option. I would have liked to have seen that. It's just forced to be chrome. Um, hmm. I guess we'll do the splitter with the tow hook. Looks almost as good as you. Engine, exhaust. <laughs> Two hundred. Titanium <laughs> Tudor exhaust out of van. That's so cool. Um, hood, carbon hood. Um, I don't know about that one. I eh, will throw it on. Why not? Um, lights, some xenons. I mean, with the customization from what different people say, I guess it's like a drift van type of build thing with all the customization options it offers. Which, I, I, you know, it is. It's different. Uh, black Maybe plate there. Right and for plates, I guess I'll just throw my American plate on there. Um, where is it? There it is. Perfect. Is good. Respray. So for this, um, I'm in between like a nice metallic dark gray and also possibly a classic, um, where is it? The classic surf blue with no pearl. I think it looks really good. Um, all personal preferences to <laughs> what you like but yeah that's that's, that's kind of what I'm stuck between I don't want to paint it black it looks a little too bland um, so I definitely think or maybe even a red but that's that's too simple I don't know um, you know what maybe we'll go with the blue yeah you know what we'll go with the blue classic surf blue it's a good color I think it looks really good on here Secondary color is the lower black section. Really good. I see. I wish we could have gone. Imagine if we would have had a secondary, a bumper option for the front and rear, and then make that match your secondary color, um, or even offer primary as well. That would have been an awesome touch. Um, but unfortunately, those are forced, uh, forced in chrome. Now I was seeing a lot of people um, painting the secondary color in chrome on these. 
if you want to kind of make it blend in but that's that's a way too much chrome for me and even if you want to tone it down with the um brush black steel it helps but it, it still doesn't really look I, I definitely prefer the secondary color in black and then we'll do a crew black to make it a little bit darker i think it looks really good um, continuing here we have the roll cage option so this one's really cool so it adds in racing seats, red racing seats, it's just awesome. And of course a giant roll cage in here, look at that, that is, it's just so cool. I remember I had never seen customization on this in the past and somebody brought it to one of the uh, street challenge car meets we did a while ago. And I thought it was just, I mean really cool to see this upgrade in here with the race seats and roll cage, I mean it's just very cool that it even offers that. So. Definitely install that there. Suspension, so you can get this thing quite low. I mean, look at that. That's <laughs> that's insane. So we'll do that. Transmission, turbo, wheels. Um, for this one, I'm gonna go to the street category, and I'm going to throw on here the where are they? Cosmo Mark II. I think those look great. And then we'll do black spokes to match our um, black secondary color. I mean, look at that. It's the <laughs> <laughs> a complete transformation from how we started stock. It went from like a stock normal van to now some crazy looking performance, possibly drift van. I mean, it's just, <laughs> it really is cool. I I'm glad this van offers us customization. Uh, continuing, we have windows, which in this case would just tint the rear and the sides because we put the uh, panels to cover those windows. Um, I guess, I don't want to, I don't know if I should black it out. I mean, you, you can still see the red from there. Eh, be some light smoke because I don't want to hide the red seats too much so we'll do some light smoke there all right that's all the options let's take it for a drive it looks so cool I love it <laughs> never thought I would say that about a van but very very cool look at that so nice I think I chose the right color for this all right first person interior you got the seats the red seats looks awesome Got the interior that's used in most of the vans and um, the dash kind of similar to the SUVs in game. Back there with the ridiculous roll cage setup. I love it. Um, I believe this is front wheel drive. No, rear wheel drive. Okay, that's surprising. That's actually, that's actually good. Hmm. Now, if I do recall, I think some people have done the those crazy different merge glitches and stuff to put low grip tires on this, and from what I've been told, it does drift pretty good with low grip, so <laughs> that's kind of awesome. Very grippy. I'm actually quite surprised. Hard corner here. That guy wants to come out, but I mean, very controllable. Obviously, it's pretty underpowered, as you would expect from a van, but... Bit of understeer... It drives pretty nice. I'm quite surprised. Wish it had more power, though. Definitely lacks the power. I'd love to push it more in the corners. Definitely reminds me of the, um... The one that everybody knows and is used to driving from the past, the Gang Burrito, which is has a kind of like 18 van um, kind of color scheme on it. That one, that one has a spoiler upgrade, so it adds traction. This one, it feels kind of like that, but obviously without the spoiler benefit. Very nice to drive though. The other one definitely handles a little better though. I, th I think it's mainly because of that spoiler upgrade, and it has a little more power too. This one's not bad though. It's nice. Can it drift? Uh, it's just <laughs> doesn't have enough power to, you know, literally power out of the drift. It's not, uh, no. <laughs> Tried mid driving it, just doesn't want to have it. We try a lower speed. Uh, <laughs> it's attempting to. Hold on, let me do, let me try something here. Let's try launching it. Then mid drive it. That's not working. <laughs> it just it doesn't have enough power sadly. I wish it did. Not bad though. Like just just the way it looks alone, I think it's really cool. It's different. Lowered with some nice wheels and that 
sick roll cage and stuff. A hidden little gem of customization for sure. Look at that. I like it. I really do. <laughs> I'm being completely honest here. I, I do like it. Lowered like that. Custom wheels. That is awesome. That really is. Alright, let's see if all the doors and stuff open. I'm sure they do. Um, I don't know if this one will open though. This, this back one. Let's see. Eagle doors. Nope. Does not open. Okay. Look at that. Has a strip brace. I wonder if that's part of the, the chassis upgrade or not. When we did the roll cage and stuff. Engine model is, is, is one of the worst things I've ever seen. It's got like a... It's got a belt, like, it's got like a quarter of a belt there, just, just kind of hanging there. Just kind of goes to nowhere, just... <laughs> got a broken belt, the broken belt mod. <laughs> yeah, you definitely never want to open that hood. Keep it closed. And uh, apparently our carbon is just a sticker. Because <laughs> the underside is all painted and it kind of ends abruptly right there. Yeah, that's... <laughs> uh, interior... I mean, the seats were incorporated pretty nicely. Not terrible. Let's see how the other side looks. Not bad. Not bad. At least we don't have vapid floor mats in our <laughs> bravado van. Uh, the roll cage thing. I mean, look at that. That's so cool. I love it. That's awesome. That's really, really cool. I am. I'm pretty impressed. Like with that, it even has that customization. Um, I really, really do like it. Not bad at all. See, th this is another one of those cars that, or vehicles, that I, I wish if we had, like, an unlimited amount of s garage space, this would definitely be added to that. I mean, I would love to have 10 or 20 different cars and just be, like, categorized, you know, 10 to 20 vans, 10 to 20 SUVs, um, just in each one, but unfortunately we don't have... We have a ton of garage space now to do most of those classes, but not all of them, especially some of the least, uh, uh, less popular ones like vans and stuff like that, and uh, coupes and uh, utility and all that. But I, I would definitely um, have this in a garage if I had more space. But unfortunately, we have um, sort of like cooler vans like the Yuga Classic 4x4. That thing is awesome. You know, Benny's van. Um, and other vehicles like that, but in terms of like OG, it's just kind of crazy to think that this van had that customization back then, and I never even knew about it until recently. So, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what vehicle from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.